Okay, guys, let's move on to number three on worksheet three. So the reaction that we have is going to be silver bromide. It is precipitated by the reaction of silver nitrate with so uh, sodium bromide. I can't read today. The question is asking you, what is the mass of silver bromide that can be produced starting with 34.3 grams of sodium bromide? Okay. Oh, sorry. I definitely, I'm like, wait, you read that wrong. I can't read. Like I said, what mass of silver bromide can be produced starting with 34.3 grams of sodium bromide? Much better. Okay. So first thing, remember what I always do, I'm going to build my roadmap. I am starting with grams of sodium bromide. I need to go to mole of sodium bromide. Then I'm going to make my way to mole of silver bromide. And then I need to figure out my grams of silver bromide. If you're still having issues building your roadmap, please take a look at your molar map. This is exactly where I'm getting what which direction I'm supposed to be going in. Okay, so in the first conversion, when I'm going from grams to mole, I'm going to use the molar mass. My second conversion, I'm going to use the mole ratio between sodium bromide and silver bromide. And then I'm going to use the molar mass to convert between my mole of silver bromide and my gram of silver bromide. Okay, so now that I know what I'm doing, first thing we need to do is this was going to be slightly complicated, right? Because we're going to need to calculate two different molar masses. So I have to calculate the molar mass for sodium bromide and I need to calculate the molar mass for silver bromide. Okay, I do that just to get it out of the way. So if you look at your periodic table, it is going to be 22.99 plus bromine, which is 79.90. So if I were to calculate that, just take your calculator, you're just going to add them up. 22.99 plus 79.90, you end up with, 102.89. Remember that unit is grams per mole. Okay, let's do the same with silver bromide. Silver on the periodic table is 107.87 plus bromide, uh, which is still 79.90 no matter who it's with. So 107.87 plus 79.90. We end up with 187.77 grams per mole. And that is the molar mass for silver bromide. Okay, so you need to make sure that you build your map so that you can have all the numbers that you need to solve these problems. Okay, so now that we know, let's do it. We are starting with 34.3 grams of sodium bromide. Put it over one. We need to convert to moles, grams sodium bromide in the numerator, grams of sodium bromide in the denominator, moles on top. We just calculated the number that one mole of sodium bromide has a molar mass of 102.89, right? That's this number right here. Okay, we are done with the first conversion. Let's deal with our mole ratio. We have a mole of sodium bromide in the numerator, we need mole of sodium bromide in the denominator, which puts mole of silver bromide up top. You get these numbers from your balanced equation. Once again, we are in a one-to-one. -one. Look at your coefficients of your equation. That will tell you. Okay, and now we have mole of silver bromide in the numerator. So I need mole of silver bromide in the denominator, which puts grams of silver bromide on top. We just calculated that one mole is 187.77 grams. That's that number. Okay, and now what you need to do is first check your units. If your units cancel and you end up with what you're supposed to end up with, then you know that your number is probably correct. So 
Gram cancel, gram cancel. Mole cancel, mole cancel. Mole cancel, mole cancel. You're left with grams, and that's what you're looking for. So now that you know your unit is correct, now you can go ahead and do your math. 34.3 divided by 102.89. Leave the one and one alone. Multiply by one, divide by one is still that number. Multiply by 187.77, and you end up with an answer of 62, 62. We'll say six. So really six zero. Remember, don't forget your units. That is going to be gram of silver bromide, and that is the answer to number three.